to the NFL here. And this is interesting stuff uh, for this league. The NFL confirmed Wednesday that if fans are allowed at NFL games this season, they will have to wear masks. Now, you're not going to have any any NFL fans in the stands in Buffalo. I'm sure that New Jersey is probably going to do the same thing. They they happen to be, you know, in lockstep with New York for whatever reason. But, yeah, if, if there are fans, the NFL has said that everyone coming in has to wear masks. Brian McCarthy, the What this tells me is the NFL is still planning on having fans. Yeah, Brian McCarthy, the league's vice president of communications, tweeted today, the NFL has not announced a league-wide policy on allowing fans at games leaving it up to teams to make the decision based on local mandates. The Jets and Giants announced on Monday that there would be no fans at home games at MetLife Stadium until further notice. Uh, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy recently issued an order limiting the number of people who could attend outdoor gatherings in the state to only 50. Um, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. Raiders owner Mark Davis said he's leaning towards not having fans attend in Las Vegas. The Rams announced that SoFi Stadium will be at limited or no capacity. Philadelphia City officials last week announced no fans will be allowed in the stands during Eagles games. Uh, But a day later, the mayor's office clarified the city's position, offered a sliver of hope that fans could be in the stands at some point this season. The Falcons detail plans Wednesday for hosting between 10 and 20,000 fans. The Steelers have said they will require masks if fans are allowed at Heinz Field this year. So most teams are are wanting to have fans. Um, (laughs) Matt said, "I'd I'd be embarrassed to be a Bills fan anyway. Uh, and then he said, okay, so which fans were going to have the most creative masks? Uh, New Orleans? That's my guess. I mean, New Orleans always has crazy stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure every fan base will do something. And a lot of it depends on what your mascot lends you creativity with. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, I mean, New Orleans fans were are used to wearing masks in the old days. They, they were just paper bags over people's faces. But they, <laughs> that's... I mean, yeah, that, that was they're accustomed to this from previous life before Sean Payton drew Brees. You are correct about that. Joseph Gomez said New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York are all on one train. You still can't go into any stores in those states without a mask. Well, to be fair, you can't go into a store in our county right now or in the city of Memphis without a mask either. So they are they're getting locked in on this thing. Look, I'm not upset about the mask. Let, let me a, let me go to yeah. these places. Look, do you want a blood sample before I go in and after I come out? Whatever whatever I have to give, I just want to be able to go into the building. That's all. Yeah, that's a really – so we don't like to discuss politics, but I'm, I am so curious, and maybe you can help explain it to me, why it is such a big issue about wearing a mask. My wife and I were talking about this today. Like, what the hell does it hurt? I did. So Maybe I'm I understand crazy. they're not comfortable. I wear them a lot when I go out, and, yeah. and and so they're not they're not fun to wear. Um, the the issue that people need to it's so if we're gonna get into politics, the problem is is the opposite sides are fighting for the exact opposite thing that they were just fighting about three four years ago. Okay, a private a private facility can refuse service to anybody for any reason. Yeah. So if you agree that that's okay, then then the people who said you can't force the guy to make a gay cake now is saying you can't force me to wear a mask. Well, yeah, he can throw them out and he can throw you out. All right. And the people on the other side said, no, 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 no. We have to make him make that cake. And also we have to make him throw those people out. Hmm. I believe this is my opinion that the owners of these private buildings can do whatever the hell they want with their private buildings as long as they are not refusing service to people due to the color of their skin, whatever, all this stuff. And it's not that he wouldn't sell the gay people anything. He just wouldn't make them a specific cake that they wanted, a custom thing. They could buy anything stock that's on the shelf for everybody. He just wouldn't make them a custom thing. That's okay. That's, that's, That's passable by all the laws that we have to protect people from their rights and, and freedoms. That's it. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't understand the fight. I don't like it. I bitch about it. That's fine. Okay. But I still do it. There's a lot of things I bitch, I bitch about having a weed eat. I, I still, I still got to do it. Still My wife's still going to yeah. make me cut that grass. <laughs> like jo- I hey, Joseph Gomez. Enjoy it. It's Joseph 90 Gomez. degrees, 110 degree heat index. I'm yeah. breathing water outside. Okay. 
Joseph Gomez jumped in on on YouTube. He said two words: blame Trump. The GOP said okay, not wear a mask, and now they're on the mask train. Look, I don't care when they got on the mask train. The fact that they they're, are they're on here. the train what, now. What do we like, say right now? What do we say all the time? Listen, I'm, do we have too many fights that we're fighting in this country. Once, once you're on board with something I agree with, I don't, I don't need to keep fighting about it anymore. Yeah. It's, all right. At that point, we're, we're done. On, let's go forward. Let's fight about something else because we got too much shit to deal with to keep fighting about something that we are now in agreement on. Uh, Matt jumped in. He said, it's been the flipping and flopping by government officials. They said masks wouldn't help, and then they said they would. Yeah. yeah, that that definitely hurt things, but at the same time, I don't understand people's mindset of masks are the worst the, thing ever, and it's a, it's a violation of my freedom. Like, so the violation of freedom thing, you're getting to when the state begins to mandate and create laws from nothing without proper legislation. All right, the libertarian is coming out and saying, I don't I don't like the state doing things. I like the state making recommendations to private businesses, but, and the state can control the state things. All right. Like I'm shutting down the city park. So I'm not worried about if you wear a mask there or not, because it's closed. Um, you know, those types of things. I, I don't like the state finding people. And here's the reason why the only reason they're finding people is strictly because, because people are staying home more, they're not on the roads and they're not able to harass taxpayers and get money for speeding tickets and rolling through stop signs and rolling through red lights. And so now they have to harass people and generate money for the state. There you go. So that now you, the, you, you've exposed me for being the, <laughs> the anti-government libertarian that I am. I don't like the man. I haven't liked the man for a long time. I can understand. I can understand. Carlos Gomez, uh, Gomez said, what's up guys? Yeah. Whatever it takes for us to be able to enter the stadiums, we will take it as long as we can watch yeah. football. Matt said, uh, it's bad when you fart, then it gets caught in a mask. That thing freaking lingers in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I would say, so there was one country that was like, and it might've been Korea, it's some, some country that d has just like nothing but public transit. And they were encouraging people to, um, instead of like shaming folks into wearing a mask, that's not good neighborly thing to do. They were telling people just stop bathing for a while because then people will put the mask on because of the funk. And, I, and I will tell you, as a guy that has to, has to, for my job, frequent places like Home Depot and Lowe's often, and I go into the facilities, and it stinks like ass, the mask is actually pretty helpful in there. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> I can believe it. Not as, I don't want to vomit the entire time I'm trying to take a leak. So, there we go. <laughs> Carlos said, uh, having to wear some masks representing your teams isn't even bad. Matt said, masks are just the new way the government can give us the vaccines and then hide little microphones in them to listen to us. Like, no, man, that's been going on forever. That that would be, that's your cell phone, man. <laughs> that's all that is. All right, let's uh, let's move right. on from there. Let's talk some more Major League Baseball for just well, a Well, hang on, bit. we didn't even talk about how they're going to oh, clean the, the facilities. Yeah, stadium drones. Let's talk about the stadium drones. There's a company called Arena Fog. <laughs> <laughs> and they make a drone that can disinfect entire NFL stadiums, 100,000 seat stadiums in three hours. Yeah. Like a fog with like this disinfectant mist. And it, because it's a fog, it like, it gets in all the nooks and crannies. It gets like on the seat, under the seat, everywhere. Now, hold on, hold we're on. Getting, so we're getting closer and closer to being able to have people in public places if we can just get them all out. Spray it down and get them all back in. Let's see. You sent me. So Arena Fog was the name of the one that you sent me. Yeah, Arena Fog is the name of the company that I found that was that that has this drone that can specifically clean them in three hours. Okay. They said okay. they can clean an, an NFL arena in three hours, and they're safe enough to use indoors as well. All right, Arias Fog. That's okay. Arias. That's I'm sorry, Arias. Yeah, Arias Fog. Okay, I was looking at the one from May that was Eagle Hawk. So and and apparently there are other companies that are overseas. Like India has yep. set it up to where they are. <laughs> Matt said now they're going to give us the vaccines with that drone that's going to crop dust us. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I think they're crop dusting people here. I well, no, do in think India, that India is probably crop dusting people. In India, that's what they are. That's yep. what they're setting up. Is they're just like they're sending out disinfectant and whatnot over public places, right? So they're telling everybody to stay home. But then they go out, they disinfect and whatever, and then people can actually go out, and they're they're doing it in certain hot spots. 
in the yeah. in the country. So, so if you were to if you were to close down New York for a couple of hours every day, like like it was a shutdown, and then you just fly these things over Manhattan, like you fly them over acres and acres of farmland in Mississippi, just just dust the whole place, and then everybody can come back out and go back to work. Yeah, uh, Ben said, wouldn't it just blow away? Uh, not necessarily. No, not the a, way that this. A, is I mean, it's a disinfectant that. fog. It's a mist. Yeah. It, uh, no, it's not going to blow away, especially not in the stadium. You know, mm-hmm. now obviously you're doing it out in public or whatever. That might be a little different. But you can kind of control things a little bit inside of a stadium. So, and and it definitely inside of an arena because there's no breeze. There's well, no yeah, there's there. no breeze in the arena. The fact that it's safe to use indoors, that's awesome. Ben said, uh, ben said drone target practice. <laughs> Don't shoot these drones down. That's how I'm going to get in the NFL games. There you go. We got to leave these things rocking and rolling. All right. So with that said, 